Today, we've got an exciting video lined up. Those of you familiar with the channel will know that I have a great partnership with the team over at Bai, and thanks to them, I recently picked up three brand new G-Shocks from Japan. Many of you have asked me about my experience with Bai, so after popular demand, I'm going to be taking you through the entire process, how to use the platform, and most importantly, how to find the best deals. So without further ado, let's dive in. So first things first, what is Bai? Bai is a Japanese-based buying service that allows customers from all around the world to purchase products from Japanese online stores that don't necessarily offer international shipping, meaning you'll gain access to a wide variety of Japan-exclusive items, including, of course, watches. When you've found what you're looking for, simply buy or bid through the Bai website. They will then purchase the item on your behalf and have it sent to their warehouse before packing and sending on to you for a reasonable fee. Simple. It takes any weight of worry off your shoulders and enables you to purchase exclusive items with confidence, knowing full well the whole process is being well looked after. To get started, you'll need to sign up. You can do this either by following the link in my description below or use the QR code on screen. This will take you straight to the registration page and once you're in, will also give you a lovely 10% off your first purchase up to 5,000 yen, which is around $35. Now you're in, it's time to identify the watch or in this case, watches you want. There's a good chance you'll already have something in mind, but what I use Bai for is mainly to buy Japan exclusive G-Shocks that I know won't be released in the UK. While most models release worldwide, G-Shock originating in Japan naturally means they keep some for themselves, which is fair enough I suppose. However, means those of us in other regions will miss out. Very sad, isn't it? Well, that is until now. So, the three watches I'm looking to pick up here are the Love the Sea in the Earth Cassioke, the Commodore-esque DW6600 and the recently released Ninja Series DW6900. I've set myself a budget of 60,000 yen or $400 for all of them and I would say setting a budget is definitely worth doing. It's easy to get overexcited on this thing so it's always good to rein yourself in when needed. Alternatively, you could just be much more disciplined than I am. Let's get down to business. So, as mentioned, you've got yourself a few stores to choose from. So, what I would suggest is you search for your model across each one. With G-Shocks, it's best to grab their full model name for more accurate results. Kicking off with the GA-B2100K-9A. So, as you can see, right off the bat in the Yahoo auction section, there are quite a lot of options, either with stock images or photos of the actual watch, in new or used condition, private sellers or stores. I typically lean towards photos of the watch itself as it's the best way to validate its condition, but not strictly necessary. I'm also looking for brand new watches in this case, but again, depends on what you're after. So as I'm scrolling, initially I'm looking mainly for good buyout prices. This is largely due to the fact I'm very impatient. You've got yourself a few options in Yahoo Auction, including regular bid and buyout, which is pretty self-explanatory, or snipe. A snipe is a good way to determine your best offer and let buy you do the rest, by submitting your bid at the right time towards the end of the listing. Skimming through, I'm also checking for things like seller rating, feedback, other items they have for sale. I've sped this up by the way, this isn't my real life decision making pace. I'm also looking for of course the item condition, description, etc, etc. For the listings that look good, I like to open a new tab for each one to then narrow down once I've searched through each store. So I'll continue the same process across the other stores. Most of these listings are unique, but you'll notice that some of them spread across multiple platforms. Stores like Macari and Rakuten are for more direct shopping, so don't offer a bidding process. If you like what you see, go ahead and buy. So once you've got your shortlist lined up, now it's time to choose our winner. Full on process of elimination time. This is mostly gut feel at this point, validating the sellers once again, and I also find it's important to rule out those too good to be true prices. To be honest, all of these look like good options, but I like the look of this Rakuten listing. It may be slightly more than the others, but they've had a lot of sales, good ratings, and sell a whole load of other G-Shocks, so must be doing something right. We shall proceed to order. There's a few insurance plans you can choose from depending on your preference. I've always gone for the standard plan and will use PayPal for payment. But again, there's various options to suit you. Time to buy and move on to the 6600. Seeing as we picked that one up from Rakuten, I thought it would be good to show you the process for other stores. So this time we'll go for the Yahoo auction site. This is actually where I picked up my polar bear rangeman from, so there's a sense of sentimental value here. That was a joke by the way, but this is a very good platform. Anyway, this one didn't take too long at all. Nice and clean pictures of the watch, a good seller of G-Shocks once again, and a great price. So it was time to go in with the buyout. 
Going through the same steps for payment again, once you head back to the listing, you can see a big red banner saying that you've won onto the new Ninja DW6900. Same search process once again and was keen to try a third store for this one. Makari seemed to offer a good price and seller for this model. While there wasn't images of the watch itself, I gave them the benefit of the doubt as this had only just been released at the time. This one is funny though. This series released in October and seemed set to be only available in Japan originally. So I jumped on here straight away as I was a big fan of this model and didn't want to miss out. Then, guess what? Just last week, G-Shock UK dropped it too. However, this then sparked another great use for Bai, which I'll get onto shortly. So, we've purchased our three watches and you can check confirmation of all of them within your My Page section. You don't need to do any more at this point, Bai will then notify you as soon as they hit their warehouse. This happened within like two days, which I was really impressed with. Then it's time to log back on and choose which shipping option you want to go for. One very cool option by the offer is package consolidation, meaning you can combine multiple orders into one parcel to be shipped across to you. Once your request is fulfilled, you'll be notified once again, which took a few hours in my case. Once you're happy, they'll then be shipped and on their way. I went for EMS in this one, which cost me 4,400 yen, approximately $30. Once again, this is very quick. It took just two days from confirming to it arriving in the UK. Then it's time to pay import fees, which are really important to consider. You'll likely receive a letter or email to notify you, but all three of these models combined, this cost me a total of £74.61, which is approximately $93. So in total for all three watches, we have the models, which cost us $380, the shipping, which cost us $30, and the import fees, which were $93, giving us a total of $530 dollars or 403 pounds and would you look at that if we apportion the import and shipping fees to the price of the ninja model this cost us a total of 118 pounds and the retail price of it in the uk is 149 pounds so not only is buy a good option for exclusive items it's also a good way to get models early or even cheaper i think we've done pretty well here time to give them a quick once over and make sure they're all good Everything is looking spot on yet again. I'll be releasing a video of a full rundown of these models in the coming week. And just before we round off, I have a question for you. Would you like one? If the answer is yes, I politely suggest that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and be on the lookout for that video as I'll be giving one away. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Happy shopping and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.